What's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Career Mode. This is episode number 201. I think I just said 201. Or did I say 200? It's episode 201 anyway. You would have seen episode 200 uh, yesterday if you missed episode 200. Um, nice link there. Fantastic. Really smooth. If you missed episode 200, then uh, I'll leave a link to it on the screen. Um, you can go and check it out. It was a mammoth episode. It was uh, another one hour special. It was the longest video we've done on this channel. And um, yeah, it was really long. It was a live episode. We edited, it. We, um, we edited the appearance of some of our players. And, um, you know, we, we did a lot of stuff like that. And um, we looked at the best players in the world. And of course, we played three games live. And I did a Q&A as well. So if you did miss it, go ahead and check it out um, it's definitely worth your time it was a really good episode and um, yeah I really enjoyed it hopefully you guys did as well and uh, this is the follow-up episode 201 there you go fantastic smooth I saved it um, anyway uh, we start today's episode off with a game against Derby uh, we take them on in the FA Cup and uh, to be honest Derby uh, aside using Chris Burge a youth player we have sent them on loan um, you know he's, he's a product of our Academy we sent him on loan to Derby at Pride Park and I'll tell you what he was putting some strings in this game you know I mean obviously uh, we wanted to get free regardless and we were 2-1 up here but he was pulling some strings in this game you know he was he's a center attacking midfielder we've played him a couple of times for Sunderland before but um, you know he's actually quite a decent player so looks like he's uh, fit into Derby's side quite nicely and hopefully we'll get him back uh, next season and who knows maybe we can uh, use him as a backup player to uh, play in the cup games uh, like this one but uh, anyway uh, well Casso was on fire two goals in the first half and how about that a chip over the goalkeeper I've, I've been lacking with chips a bit lately you know, I used to be really good at dinking the ball over the goalkeeper. Been lacking a bit on that sense, but um, that was a fantastic chip by Wakaso. That was actually using the square button, not the circle, so uh, maybe that's why. But uh, anyway, Richard Gabe, our captain, unfortunately makes an absolute howler there, brings him down. It's a penalty for Derby County. It's Benny Kafobe against Gazaniga. Benny Kafobe to surely get Derby back in the game, and Gaza pulls off the save. So Paolo Gazaniga makes the save. That was absolutely fantastic news for us. Paolo pulls off the save. It was a simple save, really, but even so, Paolo making the save is always nice. And uh, the game finishes Derby 1, Sunderland 3. So free to the next round of the FA Cup. Uh, of course, we do want to retain it. Uh, we won it last year. So, you know, retaining the FA Cup would be very nice indeed. But, of course, we did have a chance to retain the Capital One Cup uh, in the following games. We took on Chelsea at Wembley. Um, I did say this was going to be a live game. Um, I said I was going to put the highlights in live. But, to be honest, I thought, do you know what? We did We did three games in the last episode that were live. I'm sure you guys don't want to see another one. You know, maybe I made a mistake there. Maybe you guys would have uh, liked to have seen another live game. I know, I know you guys do like uh, live games. But um, I thought, do you know what? We did three in the last game. I don't want to make it overkill. So, I just used the highlights. But, anyway... Neymar almost gave Chelsea the lead just one minute in with the first attack. Um, his header, unfortunately, for Chelsea hit the post, though. But Neymar came through once again. He was uh, uh, playing fantastically well. He really was doing well. But we won a corner here, 11 minutes in. I gave it to Marcano. It was going to be Richard Gape, but I gave it to Marcano, and Marcano found Richard Gape. So that was a fantastic piece of, uh, um, a piece of uh, managerial... Uh, decisions. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I made a good choice to choose Marcano over Gape. That's what I meant to say. Um, because Gape heads in the corner. He was like, yeah, you can take this corner, but you're crossing it to me. And he did just that, and Gape didn't let himself down either. So it's, it's really nice to see those two link up. So, uh, yeah, usually it's Gape to Marcano. This time, Marcano to Gape. And our captain makes it 1-0. And straight from kickoff, Marcano releases Wakaso. He hits the post, but he plays a 1-2 with the woodwork. Gets it back and smashes the ball into the back of the net. So Wakaso makes it 2-0 here to Sunderland and already it was looking really bleak for Chelsea but yeah 2-0 to Sunderland uh, one for our captain Richard Gape and uh, one for Castle as well two assists for Marcano which is always nice but uh, Chelsea were coming back here uh, this was Nana Welbeck putting the ball just wide here but um, Chelsea's accuracy from their shots were really bad you know they were dominating us in terms of shots but their accuracy was so bad but uh, in the 50th minute they wanted to uh, make amends uh, from all their missed chances in the first half and Neymar did just that this guy man Seriously, he's so hard to stop. Obviously, had a fantastic Confederations Cup, and um, you know that was uh, several years ago in uh, in the game. But um, yeah, he was playing really well in this game. It was uh, Chelsea won Sunderland too. But uh, he see Craig Gibson finding Ocampos. Ocampos skips past Bath here down the right hand side. Uh, sorry, left hand side. Ocampos crosses it in. Free header for Craig Gibson. Brilliant save by Mignolet. And I'm not sure who that was on the line, but the shot from Wakaso was cleared off the line, and Chelsea managed to hang on and keep the score at two one. Been the 90 
90th minute, Chelsea wasted their final possession, and as uh, Yelen uh, boosted the ball upfield, the game did finish. Uh, Chelsea won, Sunderland two. For, so for the third time in a row, uh, the tournament has been. Um, retained by us we are the capital one cup winners for the third season in a row not sure if that's been done before it may have been not sure but um you know hopefully we can uh, continue to win this competition because i really do enjoy the capital one cup it's such a great competition for the youngsters to play in and then of course in the final we play our best players but uh yeah really pleasing to win the capital one cup and um like i say i, I used highlights i, I was going to do it live but then i thought nah to be honest i mean you know i've done three live games in the last episode i'm sure that would just be overkill and um yeah hopefully you enjoyed it regardless and um, yeah I was really pleased to get a win in this game and um, it was very very nice indeed there was something I wanted to say as well but I've already forgotten what it was what was it there was, there was something I really wanted to say about this it was something anyway but um, anyway we win the Capital One Cup and uh, that is really good news for us but um, yeah also Richard Gate man seriously 17 years old he must be the youngest captain ever to uh, to lift a trophy it's it's incredible fantastic I mean only a professional trophy obviously not like an under 18s tournament but yeah Richard Gape um, lifts the Capital One Cup trophy I mean he doesn't but he did in my mind and uh, yeah we win the game by uh, two goals to one so Capital One Cup's been won for the third time in a row. Um, it's our second trophy of the season behind the Community Shield. And um, that's just fantastic news for us. And um, yeah, really, really pleasing. Of course, it's not our main aim. Our main aim is the Champions League this year. But um, even so, I'm glad to win another trophy. And um, it's good news for us. And especially because we get £79,000. That's a lot of money. Um, but anyway, <laughs> um, we uh, see a Youth Squad monthly report here. And um, we actually released a couple of these players. They weren't developed been very good um, you know there's still some fantastic players out there look at the here yeah, the fake Felipe Marcano there's still some fantastic players in here but um, a couple really haven't developed uh, good at all and uh, we start to release them but um, even so it's a numbers game really eventually you'll pick up a world-class player and um, yeah we, we've done enough so far and um, yeah it's 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 looking good the Sunderland youth product uh, product is looking very good and uh, I'm very excited for the next few years of Sunderland I know a lot of you have been saying are you gonna leave Sunderland and and finish your career somewhere else undecided um, of course I'm not going to leave until I win the Champions League but um, still undecided even in, even after that you know if we win the Champions League this season I'm not sure I'll be looking to move on next season but we'll, we'll see we'll cross that bridge when we come to it and um, yeah the main name is still the Champions League um, until we win that I'm staying at, uh, at Sunderland but uh, anyway uh, also by the way how do I pronounce Kagla Yelen seriously I've read so many comments saying it's Kagla Yelen like I say and then so many comments saying no it's Shagla Yelen. Then some people say Sagla Yelen, so not the Sha, just Sa. It's how do I pronounce Kagla Yelen? Tell me, tell me in the comments. How do I pronounce it? Because I want to get it right. But uh, anyway, as always, guys, a big thank you for watching um, this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like. And um, yeah, if you'd like another double upload day tomorrow, please leave a like and we'll see what we can do. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. As always, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a like if you did enjoy. And I'll see you for the next episode of Career Mode, uh, probably tomorrow or Tuesday.